Be sure to visit the registration details webpage listed in the notes for this video for specific registration dates, deadlines, and processes. To register for classes, log into the Campus Portal. Locate the Titan Online widget and select Student Homepage. Note you can also use the Titan Online Apps Cube icon to access the Titan Online Apps. Before enrolling, you'll want to check for any holds on your account that may prevent you from registering. Here you can see that there are two holds on Tuffy's account. Click on Tasks to view more information. Note that the department that placed the hold is listed. Click on a hold for additional details. In this example, this is just an informational hold letting Tuffy know that they can enroll in a math course for their general education requirements. So Tuffy can go ahead with registering. If you have any questions about a hold, contact the department that placed the hold. To add or drop classes, click Manage Classes. To add a class, click Class Search and Enroll. Choose the term you want to enroll in. Depending on the time of year, you may see different terms available. Enter search criteria for a class you want to add, and then click the double arrow button. Looking for a class taught by a particular instructor? Use additional ways to search to search by instructor and more. You can use the filters on the left to narrow down your search results. Click on a search result. Review the list of available class sections and click on a section to select it. Review the class information, including the number of open seats and final exam schedule if available. Then click Next. For some classes, you may have class preferences available. If there are only a few spots left in the class, you may want to choose to be added to the waitlist just in case the class is full by the time you submit your request. Once you have chosen all of your preferences, click Accept. Choose to enroll in the class now or add the class to your shopping cart to enroll later. Then click Next. Review your selections and then click Submit. Click Yes. If you chose to enroll now, you'll see a confirmation that the class was added to your schedule. If you chose to add it to the shopping cart, you will see a confirmation that the class was added to your shopping cart. Keep in mind that adding a class to your shopping cart does not save your place in the class so be sure to complete enrollment as quickly as possible after adding your classes to the shopping cart. Normally you can use either method to enroll, but in some cases you may be required to use the shopping cart. For example, if you want to enroll in two classes that are co-requisites, meaning you have to take them at the same time, you will need to add both classes to your shopping cart and then enroll in the classes together. When you are ready to check out, click Shopping Cart. Place a check mark next to each class you want to enroll in. Then click Enroll. Click Yes. In this example, Tuffy was successfully enrolled in Human Services 201, but they were not enrolled in English 212 because the meeting times conflict with another class that Tuffy is already enrolled in. Let's check View My Classes to see more. Psychology 101 is the class that has a time conflict with English 212. Let's use the Swap Classes function to do a conditional drop add. That is, Tuffy will only drop Psychology 101 if they are successfully able to add English 212. Click Swap Classes to start. Choose the term. First, choose the class that you want to drop. You can either use Class Search to find the class that you want to add, or if you know the class number, you can add it in the Enter Class Number field. Then click Search. You can enter keywords to search, or in this case, Tuffy has recently searched for English 212, so they'll just select it from the list. Select the class section you want to add. Review the class information and then click Next. If prompted, make your class preference selections, then click Accept. Review the details of the swap. In this example, Psychology 101 will be dropped if English 212 can be added. Then click Submit. Click Yes. You will see a confirmation that your swap was successful. If you simply want to drop a class, click Drop Classes. Choose the term. Place a check mark next to each class you want to drop. Then click Next. Review the class information and then click Drop Classes. 
click Yes. You will see a confirmation that the class or classes have been dropped. Be sure to visit the link in the notes on withdrawing from classes for more information before choosing to drop a class.